So, I did my first brew on the brew tools yesterday. Um, <laughs> it was an experience. If it can if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Is the old uh, saying. Uh, the brew tools vessel was excellent, so there was no issue there whatsoever. The only issues that I had were non brew tools related uh, issues, some teething issues from my you know on my part. Um, you know. It's the first time I've used it, so it's a bit of a learning experience. Um, I made an English barley wine, <laughs> which was pretty ambitious uh, for a first time brew on a new system. Uh, I almost fell feral a few times throughout the brew day or brew night, it took 10 hours. Um, but I've got water in the fermenter. Um, and that's the main thing. <laughs> that's the main thing. So you know, it, if you've got water in the fermenter, and it, you know, then it's a successful brew day, in my opinion. Um, so I'm gonna go through a bit of. It's gonna be a bit of a debrief uh, and a lessons learned video. Um, so I'm probably putting this up afterwards. Um, so yeah makes sense to do it that way i've got a lot of editing to do um, on the brew day video but yeah so you're probably watching this after the brew day video so you'll see a few kind of highlights already um my grain crush was a bit too coarse i think uh, especially the carapils um they just seem to be kind of cracked open they didn't seem to be much kind of you know meal in a in a grain uh, kicking around um and uh, yeah i had an issue with the sparge tank uh somehow the tap had just come completely loose and i think the reason is i mean it must have been kind of on the verge anyway uh because i, I would have noticed it otherwise but um i needed to try and get the water from the spurgeon vessel which was at the same height um as the the, the brew tools so yeah, I mean, I, I tried to use the, 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 the pump in the brew tools, but I mean, there, there wasn't any kind of liquid in, in there. Uh, so when I opened the tap on the sparge vessel, it was just, there was nothing to kind of suck. Um, so I tried to use uh, the pump from the old uh, Bulldog Brewer, which died a death. So that, that stopped working. So I couldn't get the water from the sparging vessel to the brew tools, uh, up through the center pipe and through the sparging hat which was one problem, all whilst the tap on the spurging vessel was leaking all over the floor. Um, so, <laughs> so I had to yeah, use the, the old spurge plate from the Bulldog Brewer, put that where the, uh, the mash hat, uh, spurging hat should go in the brew tools, and literally just, you know, yeah, one litre at a time. <laughs> so my abs killing today. Uh, after moving about twenty five liters, you know, by hand, so my efficiency overall was down a little bit. Well, so I was aiming for like one point zero nine zero, and I got one point zero seven four seven five. So you know, it's it's not a million miles away. It's not ideal, uh, but given the circumstances, I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, it's going to be a hearty brew, you know, regardless. So, yeah, given given the issues that I had, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so I need to buy probably a pump just to kind of you know get the uh, get the the sparge water over to the uh, to the brew tools pump and then let it take it from there. So yeah, so that was that was a bit annoying. Uh, but no fault of the brew tools vessel again. It, it was just. Kind of you know me and my circumstances on the day <laughs> um so that was that was one thing um then we got to the um the actual boil i got the steam mat on the um yeah the the flange the four inch flange on top of the uh the the the, 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 the steam hat um along with the flexible hosing worked pretty well it was it, was, it worked really well actually um I think there is there is a, um, a tiny bit of footage me showing 
you know the steam coming out outside the window so that was fine um, what wasn't fine is if you're using a steam hat don't use a hop spider because this happened so the steam hat came uh, with two silicon seals um, which is quite handy because the uh, the main lid on the Brutals doesn't come with it as a standard at the moment at least now they did contact me uh, which is fair play to them and they said they're going to start looking at including that as standard which is great uh, so thanks guys um, but yeah so I had two so I have got a spur and I'm probably not going to use the one uh, on the lid the main lid I'm just going to probably just have to move that back across to the steam hat now so because I had the hop spider and the only reason I used it is because I, uh, I was partially using a whole leaf I didn't, I didn't want it to kind of clog the pump and stuff I think with um, hot pellets it should be fine uh, but because I was using a uh, whole leaf I thought I'd best just kind of use a hot spider for it uh, and even though the handle on the hot spider so it was obviously hanging over to the outside and then put the you know the steam hat on top and even though the handle's only kind of like you know I don't know one mil two mil max when that's on and then you put the clamps on um, for the steam hat it's then dug into the rubber and I mean, I'm not best pleased that it's you know been able to cut it to be honest I mean that's a bit it's not the best is it uh, but then it's not you know it's not what it's designed to do so the kind of you know the, the thing the the hooks that kind of clamp over the edge are just and they're not sharp but the, the pressure that's been applied to the rubber seal is literally just split it um, so yeah if you're using the steam hat uh, use a hop sock or something else don't use a, a hop spider word to the wise um, another thing with the steam hat as well is I really struggled to get this on um, and when I had the steam hat on I was running at 50% power um, I did crank it up to test it uh, to see kind of how high the temperature would go before it started kind of bubbling up um, and yeah I think that was a kind of around 65 70 which is which is way too high it started bubbling up and out through this, you know, through the hole. So, so I turned it down to fifty percent power, and that was fine. But yeah, I really struggled to get this on. <clears throat> it's a really snug fit, and I've just been playing with it now. When you know there's not, you know, superheated steam scalding my hands, I did get a couple of burns, but fortunately no blisters. So I was quite lucky, really. And there is a bit of a knack to this, so I would recommend uh, having a bit of a practice getting it on. And the trick seems to be kind of pushing in the middle rather than pushing around the edge. So you kind of push in the middle, most of it goes on, and then you can kind of pop it on. And that seems to be the best thing to do. So have a practice. Um, okay, so what else? Cleaning it. Was surprisingly, f I say fun. <laughs> That's not true, is it? But um, compared to my old system, where I kind of had to just like lift it up and you know mess about with it like that, the cleaning place solution. Uh, yeah, it is cleaning place. It's really good. Um, things were made difficult again by my circumstances because the uh, boiler is just packed in, so I'm not getting any hot water. Um, so it made cleaning it a little bit more tricky but overall it was fine so even with cold water it was it was fairly easy um so you know the worst bit of brew day isn't that bad anymore which is great um so it's another kind of it's another positive but overall i'm gonna cut this video here um overall impressions first time use it was superb it really was um Obviously a bit more involved, you know, turning the taps, turning the pumps, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, you're, you're a bit more of an active participant, you know, compared to some of the other systems. You know, as soon as you start recirculating, you can pretty much leave it for an hour. Um, and, 
Yeah, um, I, I really kind of enjoyed, you know, having a bit of a play with the pumps, the speeds and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was great. Um, good first brew day, despite all the issues. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to having another go at it. Um, again, it's probably going to be in the new year now. I said that last time. <laughs> and I, yeah, I just decided to spend 10 hours into the night uh, doing a brew day. So maybe that'll happen again, who knows. Uh, but I think I'm definitely going to have to uh, get another pump to pump the water from the sparging vessel um, to the, the yeah to the relevant port in the brew tools system i can't have it any higher otherwise you know i could use gravity to um to pull the water in but <clears throat> it's already on the countertop so yeah i can't go any higher at the minute so nor can i put the brew tools any lower without going on the floor i kind of need like a half step so instead of a countertop just yeah just one that's kind of a bit half halfway between the top you know the countertop and the floor but so it goes, so it goes. Overall impressions, Brutals was excellent, the circumstances weren't. So again, if you enjoy watching the videos and you find them informative, please give me a like, share, subscribe, and I'll put more, um, more information and videos out there for you. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye. Yes. Um, subsequent to the Brew Day video that I did, um, Brutals actually reached out to me. Um, with some really helpful kind of comments, tips and tricks. Um, so if you're interested in, you know, getting older one of the Brutal systems, um, and yeah, you, you, you're kind of looking out for more tips and tricks and things like that, then head over to the Brew Day video that I've just done and have a quick look in the comments section. Uh, some really good information in there. Now some of it is in the manual uh, that I read and just kind of forgotten about. Uh, like I said, I was flying by the seat of my pants. Uh, because I was just wrapped up in the brew day, and you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I do quite like um, learning as I'm going. That's just my style, uh, and I did that. Uh, you know, picked up obviously a, a few kind of prerequisite tips from the manual, but just kind of ran with it beyond that. Um, so yeah, so that was good. It was it was good that they've, they've actually reached out a couple of times now, which is really good. They seem to be kind of you know keeping quite close. I, you know, keeping quite a, cli quite a close eye on, you know, a lot of the comments out there, um, and they acknowledged that the seal wasn't as maybe, um, you know, fit for purpose as, as it should be, or, or, you know, could have been a bit hardier, uh, so they very kindly offered to replace the seal on my, uh, yeah, my uh, B80 Pro steam hat, which... Fair play to you guys, I've not contacted you, you've gone out of your way, you know, to watch the video, comment and give feedback, but also to offer a replacement seal, uh, which they have stated um, is an upgraded version of the seal now, so, you know, it's, it's a bit more, you know, kind of, uh, there's a bit more substance to it, it's a bit tougher, uh, so we'll see when that comes, but um, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, those guys, you know, they, they seem totally on point, the customer service is beyond exceptional like i say i've not even contacted them and they're offering me replacements so so uh you know between those guys and the malt miller um uh, seems to be a quite a nice little family kind of growing so um yeah hope more guys in the uk uh you know in the us kind of you know pick this system up i'm definitely looking forward to some more videos um you know to be published pick up you know some more tips and tricks off, off some of the other um you know, people in the homebrew community. Shout out to Bradley, the portly gentleman, who's got some great videos out there as well. Uh, you know, he's very kindly been, you know, following my journey as, as much as I've been following his. Uh, so if you're not already uh, checking him out, check him out. Uh, Paul, the portly gentleman, I think it is. He, he's commented on my, a couple of my videos. So if you can't find him, then just check my comment section and you, you'll, you'll be sure to see him. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Like I said, if you if you enjoy the videos and you know you're, you're looking for more information, share, subscribe, tell your friends. See you guys next time. Bye.